Hello there, it's just tech. Let's see if we can get some three minute plus two second increment blitz games in. Right, we got a Scandinavian, what a surprise. Now let's go for this really tricky nine. Always confuses them. You see, look at him thinking there, he's not quite sure what to do. Because he likes to play this uh, classical mainline. Knight F3 variation where you play D4, C4. It's a good line. I just tried to bluff him by playing Queen A5 a bit earlier. But it didn't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, what have we got here? Um, let's hit that pawn. Develop knight. Pretty standard stuff. It's nice trying out. Let's have a look at his rating a second. Oh, yeah. 2000 rapid. So he's a reasonably pretty competent player. He's obviously played this. Looks like a club player. At least knows the score with this line. Not going to be able to bluff him. Right, and now the work begins. Yeah, I did quite well recently, managed to get up to about 1975. Yeah, a bit of a, probably whilst playing whilst exercising, which never wasn't great, and um, dropped a few games. So I've got the, the better minor piece, dark square bishop. Um, can I improve my pieces here? So I've got to do something about that knight. Yeah. It'd be nice if you push that pawn. Yeah, he's not quite that. So I'm going to probably put my queen on c7, and he's going for a very direct attack here. Line his rooks up. I'm just going to try and put my rook on d8 and just go for some cheapo tactic, really, as usual. That's the only way I know how to play. Um, it's okay. Well, he's not having any of it, this guy. He's, he's, uh, he's rating himself. I say rating himself. He's got what he wanted, look. I'm just ignoring that. I don't know if this is a threat here. Bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop, queen takes pawn. Pawn takes queen, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, but it doesn't quite work. to be as queen to um, yeah actually you might have just been able to play c5 then and fork my minor pieces which I just missed that wasn't very good was it let's try that well I just got away with one there maybe he was a bit worried about the Central tactics. See here. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. Can we take it with the pawn? Alright, okay. So it gives me an open file for my rook. I might take it with the queen actually. I probably would. Ex I'd say this position is probably equal, but um, well, hopefully equal. I'll be a bit careful here. I don't know about getting mated. He tries to just uh, manoeuvre. 
really basic manoeuvre, getting his queen and rook lined up on the h file. And boom, so I better <coughs> need to get my f8 rook. Yeah, so he's he's trying to line up the old. Here it comes, queen h2. I have to play king f8. Rook check. I've got the check first, so I don't know. Hmm. I lose quite a few pawns doing that. But then I'm going to let him invade. I could do a quite interesting concept here. Hmm. I'm going to go for this because of the two weak pawns he's got there. Hmm. Praying. Just a hunch that my queen is maybe a better piece than his. It does win me a pawn, that. So, I may have just got myself, possibly. He's playing quickly. He's a very competent player. I don't like his position. He could threaten mate here, actually. Yeah, okay. His queen's in no man's land, probably exchange. I want to protect his pawn. He's going to lose his uh, A2 pawn now. I mean, a long game is probably completely lost. Hmm, interesting. I think we're going to have to mop up a pawn first. So my queen is in a bit of a pants position. I'll be careful I don't end up with some sort of perpetual here. Check. You could gobble a lot of pawns up. This is a trouble with queens on the board. Yeah, I just I'm running out of time here. He wants a perpetual, doesn't he? Thank God for increments, eh? Well, that's, that wasn't his greatest move, was it? Because now it's over because he can't stop all these pawns. I don't think he can stop any of them. It's a bit of an insult, me, that he even plays on. I mean, there we go. He fought well, but um, I made a bit of a. I don't know whether I made the right decisions there. He played very quickly. I, I thought he was okay, and he had a good position. He didn't need to play as quickly as that. Oh look, somebody over two thousand. Um, second person in about. Two months. Okie dokie. Okay, let's just go for some sort of Slav. New York system, is it? I oh, know, because that'll be a Retty. I never know, quite know what the name of this line is against her. Hmm. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Um, go to Castle. Get a bishop out of the way. Got the rook on my. Which I'm doing a lot here at the moment. <sighs> uh, what have we got here then? So I think I might hold my knight into e4. Yeah, exchange. Exchange off a minor piece or two. 
try and get rid of his white square bishop. And that's the plan. It'll be difficult for him to kick it because. Uh, be like, I just predict my opponent's move. Now my other knight can hop into that e4 square, which is quite nice. Now I want to play bishop e4, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, and I've got a beautiful knight on e4. It's going to be difficult for his knight to exchange my knight. Obviously he's got a dark square bishop, so he can't attack it. So... Be really amazing if he, I was going to say, if he put his knight in the way, which uh, so that's a beautiful knight there. So we can exchange it off, but um, now who's got the better bishop here? Well, that open his uh, king up a bit, but I can't really see a whole lot. I want to keep my knight. Yeah, well, that's going straight away. So now I've got the world's most incredible knight, basically, what you're seeing here. Um, I mean, get a load of that knight. I mean, look at it. It's an absolute beast. Look at H5, H4. I don't think so. You might just chop that pawn off. Well, I don't think that's a great move. Probably, probably be proven wrong. I mean, okay, his bishop's super entrenched, but he's doing anything. Be a bit careful here. Open up. Position might be not in my favour. The question is, can I win a pawn now? Pretend to. I don't really want to exchange. Ah. Let's lock that right up. Okay. I'm going to rethink this. So he's, I have got a lovely fort. If he moves his uh, c1 bishop, uh, rook, and I've got a nice fork there coming in, his queen and rook, which he probably knows because he's a 2050 player. So he's going to try and get some action on the queen side. So what can I do here? What can I do? Let's get my rook in the game. I'm going to play f6, pawn takes, takes, king f7, bring my rook to h8, blast that pawn up board, he opens it up. Ah, that's not really working. I'll try, I'm just going to bluff him with this queen move. It's not creating anything at all. Oh, I'm just clutching at straws here. I thought he might do that. I he might push it. Got to be a little bit. Oh, wait, that, you can't take no, can A little bit careful. Not 
So what are you doing do that? I don't really want to exchange queens. He's gonna take I think he does. Yeah, I thought you were I don't think so. I don't want to. I I've got to because it's pinned. I'm an idiot. I think we'll just take that pawn. Okie dokie, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. So I've got an open file. Now he can put his rook there, but now I get to move my knight. Now, how have I got it? You know, my knight is the key. Just bluffing. I'm just bluffing with this. Might take. Got 20 seconds left. Three, he needs a rook. But I can't see any tactics to win any pawns, it's a trouble. Hmm. So, can I just open that pawn? Double my rooks. Let me double his rooks. I might drop my knight back into e4. He's got some problems now. Because the problem he's got is that he could get mated here actually, potentially, if he's not careful. Oh, and lose his rook. He can't put his rook. Obviously, double it on uh, f1 because of my knight. That's just by fluke. That was a good move. Kind of fluke, I suppose. Oh, I don't think that's going to help you. It's got a big problem there. Well, that was mate nearly then. I just lose a rook there, does it? Yeah. And that's mate. Wow. Well, I did like that move. Quick look at that game. So, um, who was better here? So it was roughly equal. 14 moves in. Roughly equal. Slightly better for black. But here, I thought, so was I right? In this position, I thought I was better because my knight's just literally incredible. Yeah, minus, it's nearly minus one. So there's no, it doesn't want me, yeah, it did, computer did recommend F6 actually. Wasn't sure about that. Oh, minus one, look. So like that. What does it want me to do? It's desperate for me to play F5. Move it back, which I, I did, yeah. So I, I am better than positionally. You can see here quite a lot minus minus two. So it's absolutely desperate for me to play f five, but I don't want to play that move because I just thought it would just weaken my king side. It's literally gagging for me. Didn't mind that queen move. It's not too bad. So what now? Interesting. So I'm not making any catastrophic blunders here. Neither he says. I mean, I'm a little bit better, but there's nothing. You wouldn't go, you know, materially equal. Did I blunder there? No, it's roughly equal. Put my queen back. Wants me to take there straight away, but I didn't. Oh, no, it prefers white now. Ah, so let's my king in. So right. So now, if you look at his pawn structure, it's pretty pants, and it gives me that one move to get my rooks lined up. I think he makes a mistake here. Oh, so the computer recommended my knight move. Well, or the rook move. Didn't mind either. Minus. Still slightly better for black. Well, I could have taken his bloody rook then. Could have just taken his rook. Goodness me. Goodness me, I didn't even see it. 
I'm quite chuffed actually that I I just even though I missed that terrible that instant win by taking his rook there, I just outplayed him and mated him. That's satisfying. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed those games, and uh, I hope to get some more videos to you soon. All the best.